Greeting folks, our lesson for today is about being humble, brought to you by Dr. George Tanis and narrated by Lydia. If you are an avid web surfer or you spend any time watching YouTube videos, chances are you have come across self-improvement gurus and motivational speakers, stressing two of six qualities like confidence, self-esteem, focus, excellence, and others in their posts and videos. They stress that all high achievers possess these qualities, and if you want to be successful, you must cultivate them too. If you do a quick Google search, you'll find thousands of articles on the same. Everyone seems to be talking about them. But there is one quality only a handful of people talk about. There is one quality that serves as a cornerstone of self-improvement. That quality is the opposite of pride. Humbleness is one of the least discussed qualities, but that doesn't make it any less significant. It is one of the traits that has been practiced by great leaders, teachers, thinkers, historical figures, and even great students. So, what exactly is humble? Many people believe that humble is linked to having low self-esteem. It's about putting yourself second, it's about labeling yourself as less than others. We would like to bust this myth. Humble is none of these. The meaning of humble is to acknowledge that you are not perfect. It's to know that you don't have all the answers. It's about accepting that just like others, your glass is half empty too, and that's okay. But for this confession, you have to be honest with yourself. When you make this confession, it makes you more curious. It makes you wonder and it opens doors to new possibilities that can bring an abundance of lessons, experiences, joy, and happiness to your life. Having this realization helps you shift your focus from yourself. It helps you zoom out and see the bigger picture you realize that you still have a long way to go, and you start taking steps towards a better life. Why should we practice being humble? When you practice humble daily, you not only get a clear view of your self-esteem and your opinions, but you start respecting the diverse ways and varying opinions of people around you. You welcome new ideas with open arms where every situation becomes a ladder in your pursuit of learning and improving. 3 of 6 Humble incorporates many positive effects and changes in your personality, some of which are You discover more about yourself Humble starts with introspection When you are introspective you become more informed about yourself Practicing humble helps you become aware of your strengths and weaknesses and helps you identify the areas of your life that need attention and improvement You become helpful when you practice humble, you not only take care of yourself, but you also take care of others around you. You become a better leader. Would you like to work for a boss who constantly questions you, puts blame on you, micromanages you, and uses his position to mistreat you? Or would you like to work with a leader who motivates you, allows you to explore more, solves problems with you, and supports you? We bet you would like to work with a leader. When people at higher positions practice humble, they make sure everyone around them grows. It makes you a better student. When you practice humble as a student, it helps you to be more patient and flexible. Do you think someone who is filled with pride and fueled with overconfidence can be a good student? It seems unlikely. Humble helps you submit to your teacher for learning and growing. Good students not only respect their teachers, but they are always ready to follow and implement the instructions of the teacher. It makes you curious. When you practice humble, you become aware of your current state. Hence it makes you open to learning. It helps you keep an open mind to new experiences, methods, ways, and thoughts that can help you make improvements. So, if from leaders to students, humble is rewarding to everyone, wouldn't it be great to cultivate this quality? 4 of 6 How to Cultivate Humble Practicing Humble Daily is not only rewarding, it's also a perfect step toward self-improvement. When you know which areas you lack, you can take measures to make amendments. Here are some simple steps you can take to cultivate this healthy attitude. Be honest. Be honest with yourself. We know this is going to be hard. Witnessing your true self in the mirror without masks and false identities is difficult. But this needs to be done. When you become honest with yourself you empower yourself. You don't have to be perfect, no one is. But how many people try to accept this fact and improve? Start today, start small, and start with yourself. Be in service. When we serve others, we not only empower them, we also empower ourselves. Service gives you your set of reasons to be grateful. It makes you humbler. It helps you form deep and strong relationships. Practice gratitude. When you know that every experience is going to help you learn and grow, 
You become grateful to every experience, good or bad. You acknowledge its true value. You learn from it and you take it positively. Accept your mistakes. Though many people refrain from practicing this one, accepting your mistakes is very important. Accepting your mistakes might prove you wrong for some time, but it also renders an opportunity to be right next time. Acceptance helps you to see the bigger picture, implement better ways today, and work toward a better tomorrow. Nobody is right all the time, but accepting your mistakes opens you up to more lessons. Pray. Praying helps you become more grateful. It helps you recognize that all the good things in your life are not a result of your doings. There is someone or something that is also contributed. Hence praying to God helps you become a humbler person. Starting your morning with a prayer it can be half an hour long or just a few words to remind you to be humble and incorporate good habits in life. 5 of 6 Be open to feedback. One of the habits that helps you go a long way is being open to feedback. It not only helps you recognize areas that need your attention and correction, but also gives you the right direction. Listen more. Listen to people around you, invite new ideas and explore a new perspective. How has humble changed your life? What steps did you take to incorporate this healthy attitude? The essay please write an essay, up to two pages, about a past experience you or someone you know had when you were not humble. Tell us in detail, who, what, when, where, why, to whom, the time, the place of what you did. The outcome. And tell us in detail how you could have changed that use from what you learned today, so the outcome would have been good. Internalize this lesson. Make it become a part of you. Share your story in the blog section Our advice is for you to practice being humble for at least a week. Tell others around you to point out any event in which you didn't. Have them hold you accountable. Visit the forum and do a confession. What is a confession? A confession is when you've displayed a wrong behavior and were held accountable by one of your family members, peers, or even by you. Visit the forum and tell us about it. We will give you feedback. Make sure to watch the video about confession for more details. Furthermore, become a member of the forum and give feedback to others. That's how you gain practice in becoming a certified life coach. 6 of 6 read the article. Time for introspection. Please answer the following. Q1. Would you say that you are a humble person? What qualities can you point out that make you humble? Q2. How has practicing humility helped you become a better person? Q3. How do you react when you realize that you don't have all the answers? Does it trouble you or does it make you curious? Q4. What steps did you take to cultivate humility? What challenges did you face? Q5. Would you say that you are always open to taking suggestions from other people? If not, why? How do you feel when people point out things that can be improved? Thank you, George Tennis PhD. It is time now to move on to the next lesson, being kind-hearted.